Excuse me. Is there a problem I can help you with? Well, that depends. Who are you? My name is Kofi Annan. I'm the Secretary General of the United Nations. Hello. We're the General Masters of Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got that right. <laughs> and what is the problem? I want to sing it. I no. believe that you sang it last time, Zoe. Aww. I really think that it's my turn. No, it's oh. my turn. No, 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 no. no, no I should sing it because I am so cute. What about <laughs> me? I like to try. Wait a minute. No. Uh -huh. You have no problem. No. 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 Why don't you sing it? All together. Let's sing the alphabet all together. Together? Together. Okay. That's so crazy. It might just work. Let's try it. Okay. Yes, yes. Try. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let me just say a few words about the world Phoebe would be growing up in. What a wonderful time to be a little girl. Nothing need hold her back. From nursery to school to college and adulthood, she will not have to face the old barriers of gender, race, or religion. Opportunity, knowledge, and friendship will be hers for the asking. But first, Phoebe and all of us must overcome today's world of great uncertainty in which none of us can feel truly safe from violence, from epidemic disease, from climate change, or a host of other dangers that have no respect for national borders. Within her lifetime, Phoebe could see the world change so that no child would any longer have to go to bed hungry. No child would have to risk her health by drinking dirty water. All children would benefit from electricity, basic sanitation, primary health care, and education. And above all, every child would have a reasonable chance of living life to its full potential. As individual godparents, we are promising today to protect and guide Phoebe during the years when she is vulnerable, so that in due time, as an adult, she will reach her full potential in her faith and in her life. But let's also, all of us, make a collective promise to do whatever we can to make this world safe for little girls everywhere, so that every human being has that same chance to achieve her full potential. My name is Phoebe Manick Brown, and I was that very special little girl being christened that day. It's definitely hard for me to sum up Kofi. Obviously, his career speaks for itself in proving how amazing he was. However, to me, he was so much more than this. Throughout my life, he was one of the people I looked up to the most. He was always writing me sweet letters, and despite his time-consuming career, he never forgot a birthday. However, the most memorable thing that Kofi taught me is the importance of being kind, helping others, and always being thankful for what we have. As my dad always told me, Kofi believed in families, and above all, believed that the world was one big family. Kofi Annan was hamstrung by the inherent flaw of his position. He was a secular pope a figure of moral authority bereft with any means other than persuasion to enforce the high standards he articulated. Despite the fact that he had no battalions or vast budgets to enforce the policies he knew the world should be following, or perhaps because he didn't, the Nobel Committee decided to award him and the United Nations its Nobel Peace Prize in 2001. Here he is making his Nobel exception speech which he starts by talking about another very special little girl, a little girl born in Afghanistan. I began my address with a girl born in Afghanistan today. Even though her mother would do all in her power to protect her and sustain her, there is one in four risk that this girl will not live to see her fifth birthday. Whether she does is just one of the tests of our common humanity, of our belief in our individual responsibility for our fellow men and women. But it is the only test that matters. Remember this girl, then our larger aims to fight poverty, prevent conflict, or cure disease 
will not seem distant or impossible. I hope that you will all remember Kofi as the kind and lovely man that I remember, but much more. I hope that you will remember his instructions to us as a human family and that 75 years hence, we will live in a world that has followed those instructions. Thank you, Kofi, for your inspiration. And thank you all for listening.